Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very short time ago, I rang the Premier, Daniel Andrews, and offered my sincere and gracious congratulations to him on what has been a stunning night for him and his party. It is fair and the right thing for us to do to acknowledge his success, his party and his team's success and the strength of their campaign, and tonight I do that. Um, a lot of seats tonight, I've noted, are being uh, written off or given away for the Liberal Party without the counting go of the early and pre-poll votes. We expect a number of those seats to be retained by the party, but let me again in no way detract from the result that our opponents have had tonight. In the Liberal Party in the last, not just few weeks, but indeed the last few years, we have campaigned on issues that we believe are important and of the most importance to Victorians. Keeping Victorians safe, lowering their cost of living, easing the congestion in places like particularly the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, and also decentralising our state's population. It isn't sustainable to keep growing Melbourne at the rates that it is, and I note in country Victoria, the minimal swings against our party. However, as I said, there are a number of our members who have not been re-elected tonight. I want to offer my sincere commiserations to them, to their campaign teams, to their families, to those candidates who haven't been successful tonight. I want to, ladies and gentlemen, thank, if I can, the campaign staff at the State Secretariat, led by Nick Demiris. Our campaign... <laughs> our campaign staff was young, enthusiastic, and it has done an incredible job under what we see now as trying circumstances. I want to acknowledge my own staff, and not many people do that, but I want to acknowledge my staff led by Scott Pearce for the work they have done. <laughs> Pearce is going to get some sleep because he's going to need it. <laughs> Poor guy. I want to thank all of them for the work my staff have done for four years, over four years. The work they have put in is outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I said, I want to thank my parliamentary colleagues in the state parliamentary team in the parliament that has now just passed. They have been unified. They have stuck together. They have done what they had to do to stick together and to learn from the mistakes of disunity. Can I say that for the next parliament, as a party, we need to stick together, we need to stay united, and we need to stay focused on our opponents and the game ahead, not on ourselves, and I hope we'll continue to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank my family for being incredibly supportive, not just over recent months and weeks, not just over the last four years. My parents, Chris and Vera, will know when I joined this party in 1990, uh, they uh, wondered what I was doing, and it's crescendoed with this career in politics. I thank them immensely. My brother, Darren, I want to put on record my thanks to my in-laws, Stephen Lorraine. Um, I want to particularly, particularly mention the support of my wonderful wife, Renee. Uh -huh. In politics, in politics, in politics, as you all know, it's long and arduous. And as we all know, sometimes thankless. Uh, but my wife has virtually raised our three boys, Joey, Sam and Alex. And for what she has done to that, I say I love you. I'm so great, grateful and thank you, darling, for the work you have done. Um, I do want to thank... I do want to thank my electorate staff, uh, Trish and Vita. Uh, I want to thank them for the work they have done. I want to thank Vassan, who said I'm pre-poll for two weeks straight. Two weeks straight. Um, and he certainly uh, did a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is clearly not our night. For all those people who have voted for us around the state, I say thank you very much. Thank you for keeping the faith. Every day in opposition is a day closer to government. And while tonight is not our night, we know that. We acknowledge that. We accept that. Our time in the sun will come again. Thank you very much.